Hi everyone. I'm going to show you today how to use Google Forms and Google Slides to do a sight word assessment. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to your email document um, and you're going to want to open up the slides of the sight word. Now I already saved them as a bookmark so that they're easy to access. So I'm going to open that up. And you're also going to want to click on that link in your email that says um, Fry Sight Word Assessments. So I'll do that as well. I also saved it so that it's easy to access. I'm going to just put the tabs next to each other. Um, and so these are our cards that we're going to show students. And I can flip through them. Students can open them up on their own and practice the words. And then this is my Google form. You can see it's personalized for my class. So all um, the other K teachers are going to have a different form. That's so we don't accidentally use each other's forms. So when you're filling out your data, make sure that you're using the right form for your class. If I wanted to access the master form, I can go into my drive and just click on the master. So let's see. It is over here. But I don't want to use that because if I edit my master form, then it's going to mess with all of my data. And I want each response to be unique for my students. I want all of these responses to go into my master slide so I can see the data. So let me show you what that would look like. Um, if you're meeting with a student remotely, you can do a split screen over Google Meet. And I like to do kind of this 7-3 because, um, let me show you. That's going to make it so the sight words are big for the students to see. And then I could fill out the form as they go. If you don't want to use split screen or you don't know how to use it or um, any other reason, you can also open up the Fry Sight Words on your phone and then just check off as they go on your phone. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the slides show them to the student as the student, well, actually before that, I'm gonna make sure that I write my student's name. So let's say my student's name is Ashley. I'm gonna put her name there. And then as she says each word, I'm going to check off the ones that she knows. And the ones that she doesn't know, I'm going to leave blank. So let's just say, I'll check off a couple on each list. You can do this all the lists at the same time or you can come back to them. So once she goes through all the slides, is she finished? I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to hit submit. If I want to um, go back to a different student or to, to assess a new student, I can hit submit another response. Then I type in the next student's name. So my next student is Paul. And I'm going to do the same thing. Scroll down to the bottom and hit submit. I can also, if I didn't finish the list, if it was too much in one sitting to test 100 words, I can always also go back and edit a response. So I just find the student, and let's say I didn't finish list one, scroll, or I finished list one, I didn't get to list two. Now I can go where I left off and continue with list two. Submit and 
that's that. Now, if I want to see my um, the main data of all the students, what they know, see a chart, I can click on the master file in my Google Drive. And as you can see, this one looks a little bit different. And that's because I can edit it. Um, and then I can click on responses. That's going to show all the students that you've tested. Um, and you can see I already did a couple of tests before. So now I have these charts which show all the data. So I can see that, OK, all of my four students or everyone in my class knows the sight word the. They know the sight word of. I don't need to be reviewing those anymore. As I scroll down. I can take a look at the words that the students are missing. So 25% um, know the word too. So that's how I'm going to focus on which words to um, give out for each week, which words I don't need to work on. And the more student responses that you have, the more data you're going to have. I can also look at each student's data individually. So let's say I wanted to look at Ashley's. I'm going to scroll through and I find Ashley's name and then I can see which words she knew and which words she missed. And that's how you use Google Forms to inform instruction.